Friends. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to associate myself with the outstanding comments of my colleague from Massachusetts, Mr. Capuano. I couldn't agree with him more. I'm proudly a member and co-chair of our task force against gun violence. I proudly support every American's right to own a firearm. I believe as strongly as anyone in this room that all we are trying to do here is get a vote, a simple vote. Let the votes fall where they may, but a simple vote on closing loopholes as they relate to background checks and making sure terrorists can't buy guns if they can't even fly. Now, over the last many months, I have spent a five minutes talking about all those who have died because of mass shootings in this country. And I have a wall, a memorial wall, outside my office that is filling up quite quickly of all the lives that have been lost because of mass shootings. During our sit-ins on the House floor last week, we read the names of those in Orlando who were victims. Today, I'm going to remember the 54 other victims last month in 51 other mass shootings that took place in the month of June. Even excluding Orlando, so many people last month were affected by mass shootings that I don't have time within my five minutes to list those who were injured but survived. Here are those who died in mass shootings in June that were not victims in Orlando. Devon Burton, 28, Sean Point, 27, and Darius Woods, 27, were killed on June 4th in Denver, Colorado. Brian Harris, 44, and Robert Sykes, also 44, were killed when a gunman opened fire in a motel on June 5th in Phoenix, Arizona. Jeremy Taylor, 54, and Sean Strickland, 26, were killed when a gunman opened fire in a convenience store on June 7th in Cape Coral, Florida. Raquan Brown, 17, was killed outside his school on June 8th in Dorchester, Massachusetts. Adrian Potts, 20, was killed outside of a university apartment complex on June 11th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Stephanie Gonzalez, 17, and her sister Kimberly Gonzalez were killed by their mother's ex-boyfriend on June 11th in Los Angeles, California. The shooter also wounded their mother and brother. Cynthia Villegas, 34, and her daughters, Jamilin, 14, Janeth, 11, Abby, 7, Ida, 3, were killed by their husband and father on June 11th in Roswell, New Mexico. An unidentified 30-year-old man was killed outside of an ice skating park on June 11th in Stockton, California. Regina Jeffrey, 16, was killed as she was attending a memorial service on June 14th in Oakland, California. She had just performed a praise dance honoring two boys who had drowned. Robert Mardo, 54, and Jason Moore, 41, were killed outside of a bar on June 18th in Warren, Ohio. Cameron Wilkins, 21, and Felicia Williams, 32, were killed in a housing complex on June 18th in Waycross, Georgia. Cameron had seven children. Ronald Graves, 30, was killed in a house on June 19th in Exmoor, Virginia. Gary Porter, 41, was killed at a party on June 19th in Syracuse, New York. He had four children. Monty Compton, 24, and his cousin Dante Jefferson, 29, were killed on June 21st in Louisville, Kentucky. Gerald Berkey, 36, Jackson Edens, 28, and Teron McGrath, 31, were killed in a trailer on June 22nd in Lacey, Washington. Teron leaves behind two daughters, 8 and 12. An unidentified man was killed on June 22nd in DeKalb County, Georgia. Carolina Renee Gray, 50, Jan Marie Parks, 55, and Alan Wallet, 60, were killed on June 24th in District Heights, Maryland. Trayvon Lewis, 22, and Jordan Larkin, 18, were killed at a dance club on June 25th in Fort Worth, Texas. Fernando Wingfred, 44, was killed outside of a bar on June 26th in Atlanta, Georgia. An unidentified man was killed on June 26th near a pool in Houston, Texas. Ruben Rigoberto Reyes, 60, Edmund Amaro Benarani, 26, and Katie Gildersleeve, 30, were killed on June 27th on a blueberry farm in Woodburn, Oregon. Rocio Dejan Odom, 35, and her children, 
Delanva, 15, Exonjuk, 14, and Arahawk, 9, were killed by their husband and father on June 29th in Las Vegas, Nevada. Chandra Foreman, 37, was killed while sitting in her car on June 30th in Chicago, Illinois. It was her birthday, and she was going out to celebrate. This carnage must end. Just give us a vote on two modest bills to help stem the bloodshed. I yield back. Chair, recognize the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Green, for five minutes.